good time for you all. Finally, I I will be able to show the last buildings of the city, and uh, I'll try to give a panoramic view of it its entirety. So let's begin. Let's just walk. Uh, since last time, when I showed you the Aquilonian Hotel Inn, I built some things extras. Two autonomous uh, units inside the city. Uh, and uh, since I'm, I, I, I buy each side, I'll show it first. Without further ado, let's start. Oh! And I have people walking all around. Thanks to the mod, uh, Thralls are alive. Uh, in another video, I'll show how to operate it. Here, this is, uh, I think, the largest auto uh, semi-autonomous unit. What I mean is, uh, inside it, you have almost everything uh except for stables and animal pen we're gonna get inside it here are tents for some of the workers inside the unit who are here Let's get inside it. Here. Oh, there is Captain Zuba Zafa. Okay, okay, good night, good night. Treat me as I was invisible. This unit has alchemy. I keep this blacksmith. Uh, because of the another mod, let me see its name here. Uh, here, where, where is it? Fits. Its name is. Its name is. Where is its name? So, yeah. Uh, Beyond Rustic. It needs uh, uh, basic uh, versions of benches. So you can have access to this kind of stuff. Bronze ingot, bronze bathtub, pans. See here, some, some stuff. Here I have complete carpentry. All the stations are manned. And blacksmith and furnaces for furnaces, just like the other, uh, the, my fortress on in the north. How are you guys? How are you? Here I have. A room, Stygian throw bed. This is one of the pieces you need to operate the uh, the mod. Trolls are alive. We have a terrace here. A bathroom. Oh. I was going to put that bathtub here. Here, going up, we have armory and tannery. In the same fashion as always.
So this is a semi-autonomous unit, one of them. And it has the space to grow. Let's see the other one right beside it. That is the inn. Refer to the previous video for our tour inside it. Here, I created it to be like barracks, uh, something like that. This is, those are Murum pieces. And those are Ardashir. We have this. I, I, I put this double gate. See? It's really nice. Here I have more furnaces. Uh, since this is a military uh, 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 section, uh, installation, facility, uh, it needs to be autonomous in <coughs> arrows, guns, and everything. Here I have blacksmith. Here I have some storage. I have to complete these rooms. And here I have a general's desk. This is a piece from the Thralls Are Alive uh, mod. Here I have some of the Darian Varuf here. It shows what he's doing and you can uh, control some of it, some of it in, this, uh, in this table. I will prepare some trolls to be here training and exercising. You can do all of that through the mode. Oh, here is Gorgo Manduhai sleeping. Since here doesn't rain, see that's a view. See all of this. I built it. This is kind of a lecture room. Second building, and there's a Three buildings more. We go out here. That red thing round is the saloon.
here I install some tables and chairs for external patrons. near the market the market you can see in a previous video at night those mini lamps furnish a nice light not a reading one. Let's get in. Here we have a private sector downstairs where are uh, beverages and the kitchen of sorts. This place only serves uh, portions of food, like fries. If there would have fries in high boarding age. Here is an internal pass. Patrons have not access to this parts here we have the counter hi and people having fun lots of booze I don't know if I can say that sorry if I can't see here shelves Mugs, tongue cards, and the tables with a good space for dancing, like these guys here. They never get tired of parking. So the only access for a patron is here, this, oh, at night is where it doesn't shine, because the ambience, ambience is made to be uh, a little somber, darker. Here we go. going great I've already shown you three of the last buildings let's go through here I like the way the streets formed organically. Maybe I can fit something here. I don't know, a, a, a plaza with trees of another uh, uh, biomes. And I will, I will show, introduce two houses. those two houses this is my favorite among the two <coughs> look at it but let's get inside it uh, <clears throat> through the front okay
it's a big construction I usually don't like that big but uh, it has everything here hi how are you okay pretend I'm not here just like that here It is a, a rectangle, a pure rectangle. Let's get inside. Arda shear with half walls, as I like it. Look at those pillars. Connected uh, to the the corners of the uh, of the block the foundation. Hi, I'm going in. This is a vestibule, not much of a vestibule, not that separated, see, furnished with a tab table and two, cha two chairs and some bottles of wine. Here we have what would be the living room. I could furnish better, I, I, I agree. Okay, and here, a bathroom, this house has just this bathroom, the kitchen, and this is the back door, I refuse to come in through it. But now I do. Now let's go upstairs. Here we have a living area with benches, some books, a reading stand. And this girl dancing, she's very happy with the house, aren't you, honey? <laughs> yes. Here we have some external area, and I created here some kind of a uh, well sector. Houses and other structures facing, kind of facing the well. It's a nice view. My neighbor with his enormous house with I show I showed in a previous video okay and here we have a secluded two rooms area the rooms are just like one another And what I like is that the area is secluded here, like separated from the rest of the house. And this is completely Ardashir. Ardashir. And let's visit the last building, the newest building.
here. See? It's not very harmonic as the other one, I confess. A vestibule. And here I have a notation, a remark to, uh, to make, is I think every set of construction pieces should have an inside wall uh, with the, the idea of half, wa half walls and this added to it, uh, an inside wall. I use it in the median walls here, but in the inside walls, I used stable walls. I liked it's not perfect, it's not ideal. This is a vestibule. This is really a vestibule, completely sealed from the rest of the house and furnished. Those boxes you can build with Beyond Rustic. I have versions of. Same, those shelves. Let's get in the house. This is my first vestibule where you enter from the side. Here we have a dinner area. Those pots and mugs and st were made in the blacksmith, as I shown you earlier. A dinner, a table, a, a dinner area. It's not a dinner room. Here we have the kitchen. staging area, the museum, museum plus. Uh, look at the size of this pan. Okay. And here under the stairs, we have a bathroom. The bronze bathtub is like this steaming water here and here we have stairs this door takes us to this terrace looking to this what be the center of the city not the well area here we have an area Free for storage. And here we have another view to the well area. Okay. And here we have two rooms, one bigger. And one smaller room.
this house has no back entrance. I liked it. It's not of my prime in construction, but I liked it. And now, just to show the Let's have a flyover the city. Look, I cannot go very far or else the lights will go out. This is the prison area separated from the rest of the city. He is a panoramic. Let's go by the walls. Here we have I really enjoy enjoyed making it, building it. Look at the site. There are lots of habitation, houses, and business. And here we can, com we can compare the city and the vastness of desolation. Oh, we have some spill of the city outside the walls. And with this image, I leave you for this video right now.